first how you guys doing wow it's been a while since i've ever done one of these now hit the like and subscribe button really will appreciate it and also leave a comment down below feel free to uh what you think about this video and if you have any other suggestions you would like me to cover over of any other type of videos now this is strictly going to be talked about the dc comics lore of the sage force aka basher that's his real name now i'm really disappointed that the dc comics lore only has just lore version they don't have canon i'm trying to figure out if they actually do have canon if you guys don't know it well i'll discuss that in a bit the original Speed Force is the mother of the three forces she created. Basically, it's the Sage Force, Basher, and also the second one will be the Strength Force. And of course, the third one will be the Steel Force. Now, those, these will be in separate videos. I'll be talking about them just to let you guys know. Other than that, uh, the cannons. Yeah, I'll try to look into that if I can. So, anyways... We're going to be talking about Volume 1, Mixture with Volume 2. The Sage Force is an energy field that radically enhances the mind of its conduits. This sounds eerie familiar about something. Okay, bear with me here. During his time in the 25th century, Hunter Zalman studied the history books and there discovered that the Speed Force and its negative weren't the only cosmetic forces in the multiverse. These other forces lay dormant due to a force barrier. Zoom manipulated Barry and Wally into running fast enough to break the barrier, which allowed Zalaman to tap into the sage speed force as well in the strength. So that's why his body is being eaten up from the inside and outside and why his eyes are turning black and why he speaks in a different tone. It's because the sage force is inside of him, possessing him. That's why he's barely even human anymore. Now we know about that. The powers, the sage force seems to enhance the intelligence of its conduits to super genius levels, as well as granting them with psychic powers such as telepathy and telekinesis. Oh my goodness, we all know where this leads to. So it is also forced to be afflicted with the apes of Grove City. I knew it. It had to be something similar along to the line like that. As a force of mind itself also pushes the psyche and the body to grow and evolve beyond its initial physical limitations. Individuals who come under the sage's forces influences are enwrapped within the fire of thought itself. Appear to burst into flames when touched by it. Upon the reawakening, however, the recipitated is restored to full health and given vast power over the mind and body and soul. Said power steams to even physiological regeneration and mental evolution. Wow. Unlike the other forces, the Sage Force seemingly has the capacity to be better and utilized through technological means, various is medical and mechanical of shirts constructed through the force's powers enables its user to bring their thoughts to life. Other uses enable wielder to teleport or unknown distances. So basically that's actually what we saw in well, let's just say when he whammy Team Flash, he would took over their nightmares and turn it into reality, basically. In the comic books, the lore, it says he done the exact same thing, but only to Flash multiple and many times. And that's how he was able to rob banks and emergency hospitals, you name it, and etc. So the Sage Force is basically a rebellious force towards the Speed Force. But... CW version, it won't say it that way for some reason why. So, since he's a rebellious one, and that means he's trying to, I guess you could say, uh, seduce the strength force. What well, I means seduce? That means trying to turn him over to the dark side, basically, kind of like what Palpatine did to Anakin Skywalker. So, he's turned him over to the dark side, the anarchy side, so that both of them can have a little bit of fun, whatever they want to do. 
which means that's probably the reason why they put a beat down on the Speed Force, even though they knew that what's inside the Speed Force was actually Ebor Thawne. They didn't take consideration to actually talk to the Speed Force and actually tell her that, yeah, something's inside you possessing you, and we sure can help you out with that. But no, they end up uh, beating up their own mother. That is insane and totally mean. All right, if you guys are new, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you all in the next one.